like these emotes. Bedged, bedge, and woke. -ga. Wait, how do you spin that? Bedge? Is it bedge? Bedga? Woke ga? Woke cage? Bedga? Woke ga? It's not bedgi and woke gi? <laughs> walkage. It's walkage. Wokage. I'm still in the process of remaking the hemo list. <laughs> Alright. I like these two ones. Do we have Madge yet? Oh, we have Madge! Do we have Prage? Aw, oh, no Prage. Or do I spell Prage wrong? Prage? Praga? No, we don't have Prage. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Maddie? Death Prey. <laughs> Apparently, um, Twitch is gonna roll out animated emotes. We're gonna have gifts now. We need Prage? Yeah, we should get Prage. Oh, we don't even have Okagi! Oh no, we do have Okagi. them long enough? Yeah. Do you think the Tomo is worth it? I hope it is. I still don't have one. Uh, Lowell Mayor thinks with the 5 months. Jiggy Boy Brown with the 4, Alice with the 7. Drain Bamage thinks with the tier 1. So Bowcut Gamer with the 11 months. Uh, no worries. Hope work's going well for you. Adriel B with the 7 months. Hello, Delphine with the 10. Ian of Earth. Ooh, long time no see. Thanks for the 7 months. In Dumpy Town? <laughs> Mads with a 22, hello. Wokagi. Atomic Asian with a 3 months, hello. Solly, JS Park with the 11. Game Ball with a 19. Umin with a the Prime Sub, thank you. And Froggy Reina, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Tomi, Tomu, Tomo makes me go woodles, nice. Ooh, Mr. Urban Lime, hello. Apparently the switches got delivered today, I didn't stop by though. But I will, I'll pick it up. Next week. Oh, maybe I should have picked it up today. I could have used it in today's build. I'm stupid. I could have used it today. Oh well. Man, the Tomo is gonna sell out before you build it. Yeah, I still haven't been shipped it, so nothing to tell you guys about it. Sag. Uh, it's okay, I'm gonna be on vacation for a few days, so don't use them yet. Wow, going on vacation, nice. There's always late. Whoa, what is late? Oh, that's kind of cute. Very pog. Is that... that's Ed. Oh, he already has an animated one? What? It's so small though, you can barely see what's going on. <laughs> This magnet board isn't actually using magnet, right? It is not using actually magnet. Playing with magnet stream when? <laughs> you know, so you're gonna join us later? Uh, I'm gonna try Justin, hello. Depends on how late you guys stay out. Hello from Puerto Rico, hello. Do I look too warm? Should I change my white balance? Ah, kind of liking this warmish, warmish look. I can you a film roll for all your keyboards. I don't know what you just said. Good morning from Thailand. Wow. Is a Tomo gonna be a good board? I hope so. Hey boss, what keycaps do you personally use? I have a lot. A lot of keyboards. You ever mess with Buckyballs or Zen Magnets? I did not. What is that emote? A T P R T S D. What? <laughs> Greetings from Argentina. Hello. We want you washed out and colorless, please. I could do that. This is the kind of stream you want. Washed out. <laughs> Uh, 
How's this look? <laughs> Just kidding, this looks not that great. Oh no! Hmm, that's very colored now. Hmm, maybe I'll leave this on. Maybe I'll lower the intensity. Filters on top of filters? Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't look as great on OBS. It doesn't translate what uh, like it normally does. Dual shot two copper drop? Definitely a cop. Wig mean, hello. Ooh, Nami's here. Alright, today we are going to build a a new keyboard. Well it is currently an interest check. Before we do, we have some giveaways. Should we start with the giveaway? Yeah, let's start with the giveaway, actually. Let's reward the early birds. Nightbot TV. Login. Uh, giveaways. Uh, Chrome. Giveaway is going to be... Wait, I thought I put this in airplane mode. What the? Let's make it. Uh, let's make it. Actually, I like that. Let's do Bedge Wokega. Bedge Space Wokega this is how you enter. Uh, the thing we're giving away, we're gonna give away a spot for one of these desk mats. Uh, if you guys watched the previous stream, we unboxed this as well as this desk mat. It's from a vendor in Canada uh, who goes by Mino Keys. Oh, well not Spot. Uh, you, you get a free desk mat. You're getting a free desk mat, but you're gonna have to wait for the, uh, the group buy. It's currently in group buy, I believe. It's not in stock, so you're getting a free desk mat. You get to pick either this design or this design. Uh, if you guys wanna check out the designs, you can watch the previous VOD up on the VOD channel. But yeah, to enter it's Bedj space Wokega. I will pick a winner in three minutes. It's 624 at 627. One lucky winner will win this. It is open worldwide. As long as you have a shipping address, they'll get it out to you. Chaos Mickey, he's thinking of the five months. Captain OK with the 21 months. Thank you. Clear him. Thank you for the prime sub. <laughs> the Simone is hilarious. Yeah, I like it. Joe Russell, thank you so much for the two months as well. Welcome back. <laughs> it's great to be a part of this community. <laughs> Maybe I should make all of the giveaways. Just emotes from now on. It's pretty cute seeing all these Pepe's scrolling through chat. Kind of like it. Schwarz Bruder with the 10 months. Welcome back. Uh, Marvel, thank you for the 14 months. Mech and Dev, thank you for the 9 months. It's great being a part of this community. Nice. One more minute. Should Def do like hot tub stream where every sub gets their name written on a desk mat? Hmm, that's interesting. Instead of writing sub names on my body, I write it on a desk mat? Hmm. Interesting. I don't want my name on a desk mat, I want it on Teha's body. What if I wrote your name in Sharpie on a keyboard? That would be cool. Cooliga? What is Cooliga? 
Uh, Jason MG, thank you for the six months. Andrew, welcome back for 17 months. Derp der bro, thank you for the two months. <clears throat> All right, it is 627. The lucky winner of the Huatu desk mat series is. Uh, everyone's enabled. MXWB underscore. Are you here? You have a minute to claim. MXWB underscore. Are you here? Are you woke? -ga? Is this person woke? -ga? Maybe it's a bot. Oh, says yo, no shot. What does no shot means? What? I actually didn't expect that I'm here. All right, it means no way. Wait, how does no shot means? Oh, I mean, I guess. <laughs> well, do you claim it? It's like disbelief. It's from Train? Oh, I see. Makes sense. I don't watch Train. Uncultured SMH. Okay. Do you want it? This guy says no shot. And does... Okay, yes, they claim. Nice. Uh, please DM me your shipping information. As well as, yeah. Tell me your shipping information. Uh, whisper it or DM me on Discord so I can get it relayed to the person. All right, thank you to Mino Keys once again for the giveaway. If you guys don't know who Mino Keys is, this is their website, Mino Keys. Oh, I have a whoops, that's what the website looks like. But yeah, they've got some cool stuff. All right, even before he posts his address in chat, don't post it in chat. I mean, unless you want to, but you don't need to. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready for the board? Jajan, <sighs> uh, let's show the interest check in case you guys haven't even seen the interest check. This is the interest check for the Magnet Keyboard. It's designed by SFT Stardust. Um, yeah, the interest check has been on GeekHack for a while. I don't think there's been an official group by listing yet, but the, the official GeekHack group by post will be coming, I've been told. And despite the name Magnet, it does not have a magnetic mount. It has it's gasket mounted. So we'll take a look. Uh, supposedly this has Bluetooth. I don't know if I was sent Bluetooth components or a battery, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, they do have a cavity for where the battery is expected to go and whatnot. We'll see how it turns out. Whoa. It does have customizable badges. This is what this board looks like. So we can't order this yet. You cannot order it yet, but yeah. Be on the lookout for the Geek Hack post. There's also a Discord you can join. I think it's linked in the uh, build command. The stream is sponsored. Take that for what it's worth. Magnet 039. So this has Mars inspo. Box is kind of nice actually. 65 keyboard. Oh. Free as F design. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> what? Alright. That's the box. Magnut. Oh. It's like there's a sheet of foam. Oh, okay. Oh. It's got the gas.
gasket strips. Interesting. These are some pretty long ones, and then we've got some short ones there too. People finger refresh your chatterino. Refresh. Reload overlays. What am I expecting? Oh, what the heck is people finger? Oh, it's pointing at me. Oh, it's doing this. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's kind of small though. <laughs> I see. Oh, Mr. Lightning, hello. The coolest, latest partner to hit the block. Welcome, Mr. Lightning. Do not. That's not a G. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Do not go central into that good night. That's the G. That's not a G. Stardust Sherpa. Do not go central into that good night. What is in here? This is pretty neat though. Oh, that's upside down. Ooh, what the heck? Oh, wow, it comes fully kitted. Space Fantasy, okay. That's interesting. It's got all the screws labeled pretty neatly. With stickers. Oh shoot, it comes with the battery. How did they ship this to me? Oh, it comes with the battery. Wow. 4,500 milliamp battery. It's kind of thin. I've definitely seen thicker ones. How did this get shipped to me? <laughs> Wait, we've got more gasket strips? Okay. Even more, and then this is probably the badge. Okay, we're gonna need this later. Ooh, another one! Do not go gentle into that good night. The thing says gentle kek w, but outside gentle. What? Whoa. Wow, that's the PCB. Oh, it's hot swap? No way. I was expecting to solder today, it's hot swap. Okay, not bad. Wow. There is a, uh, that's a giant LED. As of now, the only non-animated shared BTTV is Frog Champ. What the, it looks like we've got the, uh, the, this is probably for the Bluetooth or battery, and then a daughter board-ish business. Ah, then we've got ribbon cables. Wait, this comes. <laughs> this comes with a. Is this a Bluetooth receiver? Holy crap, it comes with a receiver. What? Is this necessary? Can I not just connect it via Bluetooth? Okay. Close this up for now. What is lossy t what? Does a soda can fit in a Rama Works tray? Uh, I can test that for you. Hold on. Let's find out. This is a Rama tray. 
It's not soda, but it's your... Ooh, it does! Oh, crap. Uh, it's slightly big. Like, there's space. Actually, no, it's not. It's perfect. That's a perfect fit right there. No wiggle room at all. In before spilt? No, it's not open. It's not open. Oh, wow. Wait, these are just natural coasters then. That is too lit. Okay. We've got foam. Ooh, should we use the foam? What? Looks like we got set two P lates. One polycarb. I wanna say this is aluminum. This is aluminum. Ooh, we got plate options today. Where's the board? Oh. I wanna see the board. Guys ready. What is this foam business? Alright, we got some stabs. Oh, there's more foam, wow. What is this? Oh, that's the... Okay. That is it. For the packaging. I'm pretty sure this is for the bad. Yeah. You can adjust it to look however you want. Look at this. This is the actual board. It's a kind of a sky bluish, light blue color. I'm not sure what steampunk, the meaning behind steampunk is. But Stardust, Sherpa, engraved. We've got Magnet engraved there as well. Well, at least they spelled magnet right. <laughs> Can you imagine if they spelled this incorrectly? Olympus? This, this gives me Overwatch vibes for some reason. Something about this logo gives me Overwatch vibes. Uh, let's take a look at the side profile. That's... What the heck is this for? Alright. It's got... Interesting design choices. Some random cutouts. Mr. Gok, hello. How many random <laughs> words can you... <laughs> Space fantasy. Is that a spider? That's a spider. Okay. Oh, thank God, they spelled gentle right here. What does that say there? I think that says D-E-G? O-E-G? D-E-G. There's the USB port cut out. ESC... What? Oh, ASF design. ASF. From earlier. It's the free as F design. Do not go gentle into that good night. Boom. Okay. That's the case. Shall we build this up? There is a three sentence on that board. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, if you guys take a look at their interest check, it's clear English isn't their first language. Uh, there's definitely a lot of broken English on their interest check, but I mean, it's not a big deal. But looks like it did translate to some of the engravings they've put on here. I don't know how all of these connect. Sure, but I mean, th this is the designer. I don't know what Olympus 
is in reference to steampunk. Sp oh, I guess steampunk is kind of space fantasy. Kind of, I guess. Refresh your Chatterino and only your Chatterino. How do I refresh my Chatterino? Uh, reload channel emotes. Frank or Facey channel emotes reloaded. Better Twitch TV channel emotes reloaded. All right. <clears throat> Upgrade that. I saw Mr. Knowledge. Hello. Daiso designers. <laughs> Okay, we need the PCV. Ah, we don't even need to test it, huh? I mean, it's hot swap. I guess we just go straight to building this. The, uh... Oh, the interest check link. Let me plug the interest check link. Actually, I should add that in the stream elements. Come in. The one thing that does worry me though, um, this, the US vendor for this board is Last Padawan. And um, I've done a sponsored gig for Last Padawan in the past, but apparently it sounds like a lot of people haven't received some items from Last Padawan. And I don't think there's been, has there been an update? I'm not in their Discord. I know they have a Discord, but... Um, yeah, there's been no updates from them for a while, so keep that with a grain of salt. Alright, I have included the interest check link at the end. So yeah, that does worry me a little, that this is being vendored through Last Padawan. But, that is the designer's choice. Okay, you can see the on-off switch there. Bluetooth. No, there's one of the desk mats didn't match the colors, they have updates on the color. Okay, so so they are responding again. And they have fulfilled all but one. If if so, then that's good, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't had issues with Last Padawan, but it's, it sounded like other people were. Ooh. Do we use this foam? Oh, this goes here. Do we use this chat? Yes or no? Yes or no? Do we use this? And which plate material to use? Yes or no to foam? I'm seeing... Yes, 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 no pappy. Um, yes, 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 no, no, yes, no, yes, yes. Pretty split. Okay, I can't do this. Can we get a poll? <laughs> Don't make me kill chat. Okay, fine, I won't use foam, I won't use foam. Fine, I won't use the foam. Um, I won't use the foam. Okay, some things to say about this. So yeah, people mentioned the badge. I've only been sent two, but I think there's four colors. Uh, they've all got themes to it. Supposedly geology, astronomy, mechanics, and biology. I'm gonna guess this is biology. That looks like a fossil. Astronomy? Mechanics? Maybe mechanics since it says steampunk. Um, the acrylic Bluetooth window on the side with LED lights. I'm gonna guess that's it. Uh, the LED for it is here. Remember we saw that giant LED and there's a side diffuser. I'm gonna guess that hole is for helping the signal move out. Uh, okay, I think I've covered all of it. I guess we just go straight to building, huh? And for this, oh, which plate? Which plate do you guys want me to use? Vote between aluminum and polycarb. Doopy with the 26 months, hello. 
Has Hazasa. Thank you so much for the tip. Favorite One Piece arc? Favorite One Piece arc? Probably. I think Any's Lobby Water 7. Probably best arc. People saying aluminum. Oh, I see aluminum, polycarb. Oh, I think maybe more polycarb. Um, Blue Keke, things are the Prime Sub Stormer. KBDs with a tier three. Thank you so much. Finally catch a life. Too much crypto and work to deal with. Thank you. Malefic Beast, things are the 15 months era. E Raw Rosar. Thank you so much for the Prime Sub. So. Will there be a big difference in the plate? Yes, there is a big difference in plate material. People are saying polycarb. Okay, I guess we'll go with polycarb. I think I see more polycarb. So we're gonna go with this. We're gonna need a harvest to switch this from here. Did you move again? Yes, I did. did move again. Also, um, any photographers in chat? Who uses Capture One? I recently started my free trial of Capture One. I'm wondering if there's a good course on it. Not me. Are you guys all on the Lightroom grind? There you go, Val. What's OMG Scoots? OMG Scouts Pro Photog here. I use Lightroom Photoshop. Yeah, I mean, I've been Lightroom Photoshop for a while. Lightning says F Lightroom. How can you say that? You guys share the first five letters together. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna switch over to Capture One. I have 10 plus years of Lightroom catalog. Yeah, but that's the thing. Lightroom catalogs are so bad. I've reached a point where my, my catalogs for Lightroom, they're pretty slow to load. It's becoming annoying. I meant not me as in being a photog, but yeah. Oh, you use Capture One. I see, okay. I just hate their business model, TBH. I mean, I do hate SaaS services. It's not ideal. I don't mind paying for SaaS products if the product is good. <laughs> but I just feel like Adobe hasn't really been... They still have so many major problems they're not addressing. So I don't want to pay for them anymore. Uh, I have a question. There's a difference between optical and mechanical switches, mainly the PCB, or is it just that it's worse than mechan... Wait, what? Does the difference between optical and mechanical switches are mainly the PCB, or is it just, just that it is worse than mechanicals? Well, yes, you do need different PCBs, depending on if it supports optical or mechanical switches. Um, but the, switch, the switches themselves are also different. Optical switches work very differently from mechanical switches. Uh, there are so many different silencing rings. Does anyone have any options? Don't really want to change the feel too much, mostly the acoustics. Uh, I would say probably nowadays the best option are the desk keys rings. Does KBD have some? Yeah, KBD has some. But desk keys rings are pretty nice. Deskies also has a, you can swap out the domes too now, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Deskies and KBD Fan Silence X are pretty good. I actually wonder if I could just use po Procreate for editing photos. I've never used Procreate. Uh, looking at Deskies right now, there's so many thicknesses. Any recommendations in particular? Um, I like three. Three and four from desk keys. But three is probably a safe bet. Apple Pencil is great for sure. I still have my V1, no iPad though. I've been using my iPad 
late as of late in the kitchen. It's kind of nice being able to look up recipes on it. But I should use it more for design stuff. <laughs> iPad is OP for cooking. Yeah. Also feels bad because I don't want to buy speakers just to put in the kitchen. So I also use my iPad to play music. It's pretty good. Um, I need to get a new iPad. You should get one. I heard I hear the new M1 iPads are pink. Is there a difference between the PCBs for optical and mechanical switches? Yes, they are very different. Do you use iPad with kitchen sounds on or off? Oh, I don't keep, oh, keyboard sounds. I don't keep keyboard sounds on iPad or iPhone. Got a Surface and use it as a tablet quite often has its pros and cons compared to an iPad though. I do like the Surface line of products as well. I do like it. What do you think about Silent Ink Blacks? Uh, I like them. They're not my favorite silent switch, but they're a pretty good option. What stabilizers do you prefer? I prefer Duroc V2 stabilizers. All right, we're gonna harvest the uh, Cherry MX Blacks from this build. Imagine if you could customize iPad keyboard sounds. I think you can. There are apps out there that can, where you can edit the keyboard sound of. Although leaving the keyboard sound on, on your phone and iPad, kind of cringe. Imagine leaving keyboard sounds on. That's pretty cringe. I would just use your ooze from your voice. <laughs> KBD67 thing of the four months, Cranker with the two months, Alucard, Cardon Isaac, thanks so much for the four months. Have you ever tried monkey type key sounds? Nope, I have not. Whoa, Jazzy, hello, long time no see. Is that, it is you. It's been so long since I've seen you stream. I feel like I haven't stopped by your stream in a while. I also haven't been on Twitch very much lately, but hope you're doing well. Um, you Soran, your cringe kek W. Why is Soran saying something? You know what else is cringe? Having your hair be blue and okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Uh, Andy, hello. How are you doing? How stream so far? Just started. Pretty slow. I've been off Twitch besides like the weekends because of classes. Oh, you're still in school, I see. Hope you finish off the semester well. Mute Soran for five minutes for griefing. Yeah, I wonder why I have to dye my, oh crap. What? That's not top monitor. Wait a minute. I wonder why I have to dye my hair. I wonder who made it, who brought that up? Who made me do it? Hmm? Where's Sora at? <laughs> you know what else is cringe? Having <laughs> your hair be blue and pink. All right, how many minutes do we punish this guy for? I gave you an option. Yeah, but I'm not gonna give in. <laughs> Hide him? <laughs> one year? You can't ban someone for one year. Well hit him with the hit him with the one second. He's been timed off for one second. 
Five minutes, says Jazzy. Wow. Oh, crap. He's not... I forget he lose mod. Why does that... What is the mechanic of that? What's Soran's number? 2202? 2202? Is it 2022? 2202. Crap, what's his... Dude, imagine having numbers in your username. That's cringe. 2202. Wait, did that not go through? Mod Soran twenty two oh two unrecognized command. Oh, he has it. Yeah, having my birthday date and the nickname is cringe indeed. It's actually kind of cringe. Before be all good music 420. All right, I, I didn't have the 420. Come on, uh, I'm gonna need the Rama. The Rama one's better for the edges. Someone took the name Yumcha. Whoa, Mr. Omnitype or Miss Omnitype. Thank you so much for the two years. Lemon Pit with the two months. Thank you. 707 Anna with the 20 months. Thank you. Roy the Boy Zero. Thank you so much for the five months. <laughs> F for Miyako 11. <laughs> yeah, Miyako 11 was pretty cringe. Miago 11 pretty cringe, but Miago fuck was goat. Bring back Miago fuck. Oosh. Miago lives on through his emails. What's your favorite silent linear switch? I like MX Xylance. Uh, unpopular opinion, but I like very soft mushy bottom out silent linears not that it's bad but a lot of people don't like it for the machine i think that's enough switches no it's not i'm stupid did you see willem verbeek stuff got taken yeah he was with joe greer i saw their tweets Kind of sad. I don't know how they got so much stolen. It seemed like they were in a public area too. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna need these two. We harvest more. You have a favorite sprit slow spring weight? Um, probably just 62. 62 or 63.5, I like. Pretty standard, pretty safe. Okay, I think that's enough switches. Ding the keyboard was in this thing. That is anti pog. Okay. Oh, I'm stupid. I need to do the stabs. Um, do we have an option? I hope this is 16. 
Okay, you are forced into 65 for this. <clears throat> I have ordered more stabs somewhere on the way, but we'll see how long that lasts. Should we go split? Oh, we can't split backspace. We are forced into 2U backspace. Need one more stab. was not very what is that xqc i don't even understand that what does that mean <laughs> i don't want to be like xqc though do people want to be like xqc is he a role model for people using this to bait out the what is a juicer? What? Are these Twitch terms? He is my role model? What is a juicer? The internet's weird. Time for mass elimination? Uncultured essay? Honestly, I am pretty Twitch uncultured. I try to keep, keep up, but... There's just too much. Because they are they all are kids and drink out of juice boxes. What? Yo, David, thank you so much for the 18 months. Year and a half? Yes sir. Thank you so much. Welcome back. How are you doing? Mr. Geo, hello. How's your film camera? Have you been able to shoot with it yet? How's LA streaming you? LA is not streaming me. <laughs> Eons worth of content wasted. What? Dude, I swear I don't understand Soran like half the time. He's on some like next level Twitch speak. No, it's just gibberish to me. Yep, went on and took some photos. Really excited to see how they turn out. Nice. Pink 9, things are the 3 months. Did you ever play the PSP? Yes, I did. I played the OG PSP. I haven't played any of the newer PSPs. Soran is a closet juicer. What does that mean? Closet juicer? You drink... What? <laughs> Watch them all be out of focus. I love PSP. Same knowledge. The PSP came out around the time the DS came out. And the PSP just never really took off. The power of Nintendo was too OP. The PSP was ahead of its time. Uh, it's a little unfortunate. It's not as appreciated. Used to sneak in my PSP in the classroom. Nice. PSP was so good, yeah. What was your favorite game? Mine was either Fireteam Bravo or Monster Hunter. What do you mean PSP are my initials? Pierogi, Soran, Pierogi. <laughs> Soran's initials are PSP. Uh, I think my favorite PSP game, I definitely, Monster Hunter was pretty good. Uh, I also played Final Fantasy Tactics. I, I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. Uh, there, yeah, there was only Tactics at the time when I played the PSP. Probably those two. Samurai Hacks, thank you so much for the two months. 
I didn't play Crisis Core. I played. I played the tactics. <laughs> I put all sorts of emulators on my PSP. Nice. Yeah, it was pretty cool trying to customize, upload your own firmware to the PSP. Do you guys have you guys done the Pandora's battery mod? I had to do that too. There was the whole phase where everyone was trying to downgrade their firmware because some recent PSP firmware like it broke a lot of things. Uh, would you recommend the ID? 80. I haven't tried it, but it seems like it's a pretty good option. I was just typing about the Pandora's battery. Yeah, I had to do the Pandora. I felt like an elite hacksaw performing the Pandora's battery mod. I probably did that when I was in like fifth grade. Yeah, as a fifth grader, doing that kind of stuff, it makes you feel like you're a genius. <laughs> Dude, if my school noobs charge noobs $30 for Pandora mod, uh, we would be buying ROM a chessboard. Probably not. I'm not a big chess person. Not too often. Tail and LOL stacks live at the same time. Oh, is RAN live right now? Having a PSP is cool and all, but did you have a DS with an R4 card? I never owned a DS. Before the Switch, the last. Nintendo device I owned was uh, the Game Boy Advanced SP. I think that was the last model before the DS was released. Yeah, I shared a DS with my brother. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. I just never got into the DM. Did you play Final Fantasy XI Online? I did not. My favorite Nintendo device is still the GameCube. Oh, I never owned the GameCube either. The only console I've owned before my recent PlayStation purchases were... Oh, well, it was pretty much the Nintendo 64. That's all I had. Nintendo 64, and I only had two games. I had Pokemon Stadium and Mario Kart Park. Not Mario Kart, uh, Mario Party. Those were the only two games I had. <laughs> the Beyblade device that plugged into the TV is forever goaded. Did you try Kingdom Hearts? I played Kingdom Hearts on the Game Boy. I'm sure you weren't buying many video games since you were in your 30s. <laughs> You gonna pick up Analog Dreams? I think I might. Uh, I passed out on Analog Dreams round one. I wasn't crazy about the renders, but after seeing it in person, uh, there are definitely some builds where Analog Dreams fits really nicely. Uh, how about Pingzu? I already have a set of Pingzu, so it's not a priority. It would be nice to have an extra set of pings though. The Digital Nightmares? Yeah, that one's also nice. You gonna pick up Lavender? Maybe. I do need to slow down purchases a bit. Apparently the Among Us- Yeah, I saw it sold for like 99,000 something. What kind of world do we live in, guys? Where, where a mad person actually pays. Yeah, I have the link. Oh, I, I got it. I got you guys. Where is it? Is this gonna leak anything? No, it's not. The BTS Among Us shaped nugget sold for $99,997. It sold. This is legit. <laughs> Someone actually bought this. <laughs> this world is is doomed. Yep, humans the most intelligent life form. <laughs> 
Why? I don't know why. Why would anyone bid on this in the first place? Was it a bid? Yes, it was. I think the starting price was like 1400 And then it shot up to basically 100k. This is the power of BTS. Wait till I get mauled. McDonald's food doesn't go bad, it is eternal. That's true. Some people have held on to Big Macs for like years. Oh, wrong brush. You change the brush. Jim K. Bingsu, Lychee, Daifuku, Blossom, Cam, Little Dragon. Are those all sets you're gonna join, Courtney? How many sets is that? That's one, two, three, four, five keycap sets. Ooh, sheesh. Courtney is rich. Five sets in one month. That purple tray looks like the new lavender one by Rama. No, this is an older Rama tray. The lavender one's definitely much lighter than this. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the lavender purple is pretty light. I wish actual Euler. <laughs> yeah, after Cor after Courtney became partner, she she's omega rich now. Paying five, buying five sets a month, probably three keyboards a week. Courtney is unstoppable. Are you getting GMK? What is GMK Taco? It's okay, I'll just donate more of my blood. VTuber set? Wait, what? You can make money by donating blood? What's a VTuber set? Thoughts on black cherry pies? I don't think I've ever tried a black cherry pie. I like cherry as a fruit. But I don't like when something is cherry flavored. I'm generally not a fan. As the fruit, it's fine. Should I get novel key creams or something different? Budget is 220. Novel key creams are pretty expensive if your budget is 220. You're gonna spend like a third of that price on the switches alone. The Franken switch? Wait, what? What Franken switch is called the Black Perry Pie? What? <laughs> I don't keep up with Franken switches. What is what is a black cherry pie switch? What? When when did this become a Franken switch? NK cream housing with MX black stem. Cherry switch housing with cream stem. Alpaca bottom cream stem. You guys are all saying different things. You guys don't even know <laughs> what a black cherry pie switch is. How am I supposed to know what it is? JWK bottom with cherry top and cream stem. 
What? Cherry top H1 bottom cream stem. That's so stupid. Why though? Yeah, that's my question. Why? What is the point of going through all that effort? Did you guys discover a magical switch? Is this black cherry pie that much better? Cause shubes? I haven't seen shubes of stuff, but man, you guys, you guys eat up <laughs> anything these like recent no, YouTubers just put out. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. What is the point of linear Franklin switches? I mean, you do get differences in sound and feel, but I would say overall, it's probably not worth it. <clears throat> People love claim, laying claim to a name, yeah. Shubes is all about expensive Franken switches. I haven't seen their content. I know they make videos, but I don't know them. How long have, has Shubes been in the hobby? Are they reputable? Uh, if I Google it, there's like four different variants of the black cherry switches. Hey, I moved to LA and started drinking LaCroix. The bougie is getting to him. No, I used to drink LaCroix before. Well, when I used to work as a software. But I have to buy water now. Yeah, I buy LaCroix because I have to buy water. Uh, I just got my Tacit V2s. Nice. I still have yet to try Tacits. I've heard good stuff about them, but I've never tried it. What do you think of Akko CS Rose Red switches? Never tried, unfortunately. 8 Pebble, thanks so much for the two months. Haldi, thank you for the tip. I'm needed to keep some keeps. I'm playing on my first build. The board is YMDK96 with Boa U4T and Durox Dabs. Do you have any thoughts and recommendations? No, that's a fantastic first build. Uh, Boba U4T switches, very popular right now. YMDK96, um, I would say make sure that's the layout you want. 96 key layouts aren't that popular, but if you like it, go ahead. Yeah, it's a great first build. Elemental 03, things from the 10 months. Disker 765 with the Prime sub, thank you. How do you make MX Xylance? Uh, you take Zeal housings and put a Cherry Silence stem in there. I love MX Xylance, same. Still objectively the best silent linear. <laughs> I, I agree personally, but I know people don't like MX Xylance. I love MX Xylance. Soran stayed up to 4 a.m. Aren't, aren't MX Xylance expensive because you have to find the housing and the stem? Yes, MX Xylance are expensive. Well, if you go with Zeal switches, they are expensive. You can cut costs and put Cherry Silent stems and Alias switch housings, which in my opinion, you don't really notice the difference if there even is one. I don't notice it. Um, I mean, it's still expensive than buying a single switch, but Alias housings much cheaper than Zeal housings. What about the video where you said Helios is pop? I mean, Helios are nice too, but I don't think they're my favorite silent linear. You can definitely feel a difference in uh, the firmness of the rubber dampener between different silent stems. 
Cherry still by far has the softest dampener that I can think of. What is that lube on the stabs? I'm currently using Crytox XHT DBZ. BDZ, sorry. If a person is condemned to 20 years of jail time, but spends those 20 years in a coma, did the person fulfill its conviction? Wow, that's... Yes? I don't know. I don't know how convictions work. Is there a start date for convictions? <laughs> silent red or silent black for MX silence? It doesn't matter unless you intend to use the spring that comes with it. Uh, reds and blacks pretty much the same, just different spring weights. I generally, it doesn't matter for me because I use aftermarket springs. But if you're not planning on using aftermarket springs, I guess pick the color that has a spring weight that you like better. Would you still do the Holy Mod with BDZ lube? I have never tried the Holy Mod. Bombs, things from the 11 months. Joey C blogs, things from the bits. Eight pebble, things from the two months. I feel like using, if you're already taking the time to do Holy Mod, do you really need this lube? That's a lot of time for, st that's a lot of time and money for stabilizers. Cause the Holy Mod takes up quite a bit of time. And then using Dragon Ball lube on top of that, that seems like overkill, probably not needed. Just lube your stabs properly, that's it. Says Urban. Yeah, I mean, that's that's been my, my style. Do you think I should get Holy Pandas? Yes, if you've never tried them, I say go for it. Assuming you're in the market for a tactile switch. YouTube tutorials. What is that? Who's New Frog? Me? Teha is a new frog? El no. Is this another Twitch meme? I won't say because if I say, I will be in trouble. What? <laughs> you guys are all so weird. Let me, let me Google this. New frog YouTube tutorial. What? These are my top hits for new frog YouTube tutorial. The nail art set tools that we all need to have. Newfrog.com. What is this? <laughs> new frog YouTube tutorial. Twitch. How to start a Twitch stream. All right. Search up what a new frog is. What is a new frog? <sighs> oh, this isn't a good word. Or 
originates from streaming site the twitch.tv which would ban streamers that use the word frog is used as a similar word because of the abundance of pepe the frog emotes new friend is an even more family friendly alternative that is used what <laughs> okay y'all are weird <laughs> Uh, Pink9, thank you so much for gifting Sora the sub. How do you guys keep up to date with all this? Explain what I meant on Discord. No disclosure on stream. Oh. What? I don't understand. <laughs> Doctor Who, hello. Are we learning new internet vocab today? Yeah. Yes, we are. All right. Would you rather have milky yellows or normal clear top black bottom gat yellows? I'd personally rather get milky. Milky housing does sound slightly better um, at the expense of... Uh, a little bit of softness, but that's a hit I'm willing to take. I'm on Crytalk's website right now. It's pretty funny how we use their products for keyboards. BDZ are meant for extremely high temperature applications. Yes. I mean, I would say Crytox is probably overkill for keyboard as well, but it's kind of, it's a nice product. Crytox is tried and tr true true and tried time to make nathan watch all the aids fest compilations what what is aids is that a channel you watch some weird stuff soran blue lenny thank you so much for the five months Uh, since we're not soldering, we should cover some sponsor stuff. And the first sponsor that we have is KBD Fans. Head over to kbdfans.com. Uh, I did receive the Axel Studio Yeti Ergo keyboard. I need to schedule a build for it, but that is coming up soon. Make sure you guys check out the page for that. EPBT Origami running through KBD Fans. Pretty nice set with a very nice desk mat. Make sure you guys check that out. And that is it for KBD fans. Next we have Key Cult. Big news from Key Cult. Uh, you guys might know Poner either through his uh, his business Ion Studio, Ion Keyboards, Ion Studios. Uh, he's also a mod on the Teotypes Discord and channel. But he is now working full time for Key Cult. Mr. Poner is a member of the Key Cult uh, family now. He will still have freedom to continue pursuing Ion keyboards. So, for those of you guys who are a fan of Mr. Poner's work, it's, it's not going away. If anything, maybe you might see some influence of that. Okay, for the stabilizers, it's inverted. Oh no, this whole row is inverted. Whoa, what the? The whole num row, it's inverted. But yeah, big news on that front. Um, Poner gets hired by Key Cult. They are also looking for a, I believe, full-time CNC operator. So if anyone is local to the Key Cult fam, and you also happen to have uh, experience as a CNC operator, maybe reach out to them. They're looking for a full-time CNC operator. Yeah, key call to scaling. Hopefully new more more boards from them pretty soon. Um, the next sponsor that we have is Novel Keys. Head on over to Novel Keys on XYZ. Uh, Cam Lil Dragon currently live. Set designed by Miss Yura. And we have GMK Analogs Round 2. 
designed by Mr. P. Wade. Check them out. Pretty, both pretty nice sets. I mean, Analog Dreams is round two, so it's already done very well. But Novel Keys is where you can pick up a ton of switch options, keyboard merch, desk pads, you name it. Uh, I do have a discount code with I do have a discount code with Novel Keys. Use code TehaKeys at checkout to save five percent off in-stock items. Are we gonna use PC? Ah, oh, crap! You guys, you're right. Wait a minute. <laughs> Chat voted on PC. Whoops. The next sponsor that we have. <laughs> is Omnitype. Head on over to Omnitype.com slash Teatypes. Oh, that's weird. Omnitype.com slash Teatypes. I just realized we both end with type. Um, today is the last day for GMK Dual Shot round two. Make sure you guys pick it up. Don't forget to also add the Rama MC M6C collab, very nice looking macro pad. Definitely one you don't want to miss. But yeah, today is the last day for dual shot round two. Don't miss out. Um, but I do have a discount code with Omnitype. You can use code sweet tay at checkout to save 5% off in stock items on the Omnitype website, such as the tons of desk mats. There are some keyboard carrying cases. Uh, there's new koozies, drink koozies you can pick up. Check out omnitype.com slash types. <sighs> PC plate's gonna be a hassle. <sighs> Next, we have Prime Keyboards. Head over to primekb.com slash types. No keycap set, but you can pick up Durog V2 stabilizers, several switch options from the Alpaca V2s to the TTC line of switches, uh, the Gateron switch puller, desk key switch phones, you name it. Check out primekb.com slash types. <coughs> uh, will the M6C and keycap ship at same time if ordered? I believe so, yes. If you want one of them to ship faster, you should have them as separate orders. Otherwise, they will all ship together. And it will depend on whichever ships last. Uh, the next sponsor that we have is SwitchMod. Head on over to switchmod.net slash types. That's where I get all of my lubricants from. Uh, using my affiliate link saves you 4% off your lube purchases. Check out switchmod.net slash types. Bless you. Thank you, Alex Big Head. And last but not least, we have Zeal. Head on over to zealpc.net slash types, where you can pick up some fancy, expensive switches like Telios V2s if you want a very smooth linear. There's Zelios V2s if you guys want a very tactile, tactile. There's also silent vari variants to both of those, so make sure you guys check it out at zeopc.net slash types. Is Zeal even interested in keyboards nowadays? Yeah, he came out with that new switch cracker. He's working on a new switch. He's uh, working on new keyboards. F Conquest, thank you for the 19 months. Hello. Dizon Mustard with the three months. Thank you. Bantoso with the six. Thank you, thank you. Do you have suggestions for MX Clear alternatives? Zelios V1s, if you could find those. Um, as well as the Mod M series. Sorry, Mod M switches. I should say the Mod series of switches. <clears throat> what is your favorite silent linear switch? MX Xilence. These switches are magnetic. They are not magnetic. 
Do you have music coming out of your speakers? Yes. If so, how do you keep it from being picked up by a microphone? I have it set to the minimum volume. I can barely hear the music. I might as well be streaming uh, without music. <laughs> I don't hear much of it, but I, it's like just loud enough where I can hear the uh, alerts whenever someone subscribes and whatnot, so I know to look up. I mean, I, if I, I can make the music. Do you guys hear the echoes now? Yeah, but I have it playing at the absolute minimum. <laughs> Michelle, hello. Why is this called a magnet build stream? The name of this keyboard is the magnet. By the way, what about the sync? What sync? Do you put foam under the stabilizers or do you do the band-aid mod? I do neither. Uh, what do you think about Gatoron blockings? They're a great switch. Wait, no magnets? What a ripoff? Yeah, despite the name, unfortunately, no magnets are involved in this build. Do you guys hear the echo at this level? Let me test. I should test how loud I can make the... Uh, how loud I can make the sound. Can you guys hear the music echoing at the moment? Is this PCB Bluetooth? Yes. No echo on my end. Oh, really? This is pretty loud. Wait, no, you can hear it. Okay, what about now? I lowered it a little bit. Oh, I also have the AC on, so maybe it's not as evident. Yell sheesh! Sheesh! Okay, maybe I could make the music louder. Sheesh! Should I just yell sheesh? So my neighbors hear it? Do it, you won't. No, it's gonna blow out the speakers. I don't want everyone's ears to be dead. Maybe they'll sheesh back. <laughs> Why is he picking up the dumb stuff? What dumb stuff? Our neighbors do. <laughs> Have you ever looked into Gunpla? Uh, I did have a phase where I was interested, but I never got around to it. They don't want to pay for it. Do you miss Malaysian food? I don't know if I've ever tried Malaysian food. <laughs> I would love to try Malaysian food though, sounds nice. I've never tried Malaysian food though. Is that LaCroix bussin bussin? Yeah, this is pretty, LaCroix is dank. Yeah, you did, you tried Penang curry. Wait, Penang curry is Malaysian? I've only had Penang curry from Thai restaurants though. Well, I guess I've tried Malaysian food then. Ever tried Filipino food? Ooh, yes. Not a lot, but I have tried Malaysian, I mean, P Filipino food. Pretty dank. Penang curry is Malaysian. Oh, I see. Nasi lemak? I have tried that. Oh, that's also Malaysian. I have no idea. Both of those I've only seen at Thai restaurants. Today I learned. Malaysian food is bussin bussin. Ooh, sounds good. Uh, preferred springs and films. I prefer 62 grams if I have to pick one. Films? Um, desk key switch films I think are still nice, but when it comes to convenience of installing, TX films win for me. 
Sometimes I just want ease of installation and I opt for TX. Even though I like desk key switch films better, I see myself uh, reaching for TX more often just because uh, desk keys takes a while to install. Have you ever tried Brazilian food? Yes, I have. Brazilian food, also great. My face when I'm considering DIYing switch films because I don't want to pay or wait for films. How would you DIY switch films, Drew Ross? Are you just gonna call, cut like pieces of tape? Uh, Peruvian food, yes, Peruvian is very nice. I love Peruvian food. NK Silk Blacks or Kanji? Silk Blacks for me. <laughs> 3D print? Wait, you can 3D print Switch films? Oh, that's pretty crazy. Can someone send me 3D printed Switch films? Wait, there's a Soran 2201. Who is this? Who this? Soran 2201. Nani? Who is that? <laughs> oh my goodness, the Noxington. Thank you so much for the five gift of subs. Thank you, thank you. Also, do you guys hear the echo in the music? Sinko Floof, thank you for the 14 months. Actual Alt WTF, the fake is 2202. That's true, 2201 comes before 2202. How's everyone's Friday nights? Maybe I modded the wrong person. I need to mod Sora and 2201. Got two Sora <laughs> My only alt is from 2017. Okay, Sora just admitted to having an alt, guys. Time to get him banned. Alts aren't against TOS, you papega. Well, now they are. I just made that rule. <laughs> Is having a bot account considered an alt? No, that's separate. Twitch acknowledges bot accounts as a legitimate category. I can give lifetime VIPs to I think one bot account and two non-bot accounts. Once you become partner, they differentiate between those. Oh, sorry, lifetime sub. What did I say? Life did I say lifetime VIP? Yeah, lifetime sub is what I meant. Yeah, lifetime sub. It's me on the bot account. Okay, Johnny. You can't say that. You've streamed. I swear I've seen Johnny stream before. Can we have an extra switch? That's okay. All right. Uh, let's plug in the daughter board. Moment of truth. Let's test this to see if it actually works. Because we did not test the PCB at all. Nope, that's not where the daughter board is. Sakun, thank you so much for the 15 months. Wow, a long time no see. I haven't seen Sakun in a while. 
and <laughs> Michelle, thanks so much for two months for eating your hot pockets. Oh my, thank you. Hello, Tayo. How do I know which one's for? How do I know which one the daughter board's for? I'm going to guess by location. I'm stupid. By location, it would have to be here. Also, I just noticed chat. Uh, this. M oh, I hope that works. This definitely was hand. Hand built. Okay. And the ribbon cables are different thicknesses. So it looks like the thin one goes here. Hmm. I do, I don't know, I streamed, what? Okay. Which Soran is sus? Who knows? Moment of truth? Wait a minute. Did I install this incorrectly? No, it's definitely secure. Definitely set to on. It's upside down. The ribbon cable. Oh, is it upside down? You guys might be right. Guys might be in fact uh, don't tell me to stand up. What dessert should I get from McDonald's? Dude. Ah, there we go. Always Oreo McFlurry. Oreo McFlurry is the way to go. Okay. Fudge. One doesn't work. switches the one the R and this key they all have bent pins ah smooch that got bent pretty bad Q W E R was also bent as well as this one. Oh, 
this one's not bent. Maybe that was the function key. Okay, that one's not actually that one's not bent. No, poor switch. Okay, let me harvest. Let me harvest two more. How does pins get bent? Like really? Uh, it just happens. Even if you put it at an angle sometimes, if the socket's crooked, uh, it'll get bent. Imagine bending the pins. Okay, let's hope this one doesn't get bent. Any recommendations for a budget TRL London pad for the pitch? Something inconspicuous, preferably. Wired controller. Thanks for the 13 months. Uh, what is a TRL? Unless you meant TKL. Uh, for budget numpad, you don't really have too many options. Probably just KBD pad. Uh, TKL. You got a couple options, I suppose. Okay, one works. R works. Is this function key? Okay, yeah, function key works. Nice. So everything works. So we can install this. Uh, budget TKL. I don't think there still is a budget TKL other than. You can wait for the NK87 to release whenever that happens. It has been teased. Um, KBD 8X Mark II, pretty nice. Honestly, KBD 8X though is a very nice TKO. Considering the price. Okay. Shall we get this installed? Boys and girls. Okay, I noticed was I sent feet? I don't think I saw feet in here. Oh, are these the feet? What is this? Nope, I was not sent the feet. It's okay. Okay. I just won't want something that won't break the bank for me or if it gets yoinked for some reason. Well, how, how cheap are we talking? Wired controller. Greetings, my favorite senior citizen. Danny Sparkle, thanks for the five months. Oh, that is way too big. Uh, Monster Gear, right. They've sent me a budget TKL too. Still too. Real Force TKL? Honestly? Yeah, I mean, if you're talking about budget TKLs, you might as well just buy a Real Force and call it a day. Um, I don't. Real Force doesn't make numpads anymore, unfortunately. You can find older uh, Real Force numpads if you'd like. Honestly, maybe Real Force. If you're on a budget, they have a full size real force too. If you want, I'm an attorney, so budget isn't the problem for me, just the cost yoink balance. Oh, the cost yoink balance. <laughs> yeah, I feel like for TKL, it doesn't really exist. TKLs by nature are pretty expensive. Chill in space, welcome back for 10 months. Do you break your hyperglides with a machine gun at all? No, I did not. Everyone's been buying that Theragun. I don't know what the hype is around it. Oh, the badge just, oh, it all just comes off like that. 
Interesting. All right, so this is what the top piece looks like. We also need to install the gaskets. That's interesting. There's two gaskets. Oh, I see. There's two gaskets tabs here. And then two up top and three on the bottom. Interesting. Okay, let's apply those. A Friday stream? Yep. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm trying to stream three times a week now. Chill in space. I'm experimenting with Friday streams. We'll see. What is a cost yoink balance? Cost yoink balance. Holy, that is a tall gasket. If I understand it correctly, this person is trying to think about the fact that they could potentially get robbed and that someone could potentially steal their keyboard. So money isn't an issue for them, but they're trying to see, they're trying to balance spending enough for a board they like, but also for a board that they wouldn't mind if it got stolen. Is my understanding of the cost yoink balance. I like that term, cost yoink, yoink balance. Okay, the gaskets are tall, but these grooves are pretty deep. So it actually doesn't end up sticking out all the way. Yeah, these gaskets are omega tall, but it actually goes in quite a lot. Can you talk to people at Twitch and make them change my name to Soran? I don't have that power. Is the Soran account active? Someone actively using it? Can I get Maz as well? Dude, I don't even have an exclusive I don't even have an exclusive contract with Twitch. They don't care about me. Maz was released at some point and it was taken by another inactive account. <laughs> Sad. Uh, should I make a bad decision and buy GMK laser since I don't have to wait? Um, if you're talking about GMK laser in stock for not flipper prices, then sure. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice color set, but I wouldn't pay aftermarket prices for any GMK set at this point. Only a couple of months till I can possibly get rid of the S in the username. Quick, someone claim Drewaw. So Drewaws can't remove the S. Okay, how long? Does this go on the bottom? This does go on the bottom. On it? I would also want to leave the keyboard at work, so I'm not trying to care if it gets scuffed. Yeah, maybe maybe a real force is the way wired controller. Um, you'll obviously want to lube the real force, but once it is lubed, I mean, you've got a pretty solid TKO that you probably won't feel bad about. I mean, you, you'll still feel bad about it if it gets stolen, but it's not a crazy expensive custom move. Plus, real force is a great office board.
Would people in a law office really yoink a nice keyboard off one of their employees' desk? I don't think he's talking about his employee, employee stealing his keyboard. I think it's in the chance that their office gets broken into. Dude, how crazy would it be? That's pretty unfortunate. If your office gets broken into, or if someone breaks into your house, but they happen to be a keyboard enthusiast. <laughs> and instead of going for the actual mainstream expensive stuff, they go for the keyboard. They were about to steal the TV, and then they take a look at your setup and they're like, oh, is that a key cult keyboard I see on the desk? And they drop the TV and steal the keyboard. The chances of that. <laughs> yeah. Dude, stealing a TV takes a lot of work and manpower. Stealing a key cult? Pretty easy. They upload a new Reddit post, new bill. <laughs> Depends on the weight of the key cult. Uh, I mean, even still, the heaviest key cult is exponentially lighter and smaller than a TV. I will say installing this gasket is a little hard. Uh, the cutout is pretty spot on but it's it's very close so the gasket doesn't sit straight because it stretches a little as you push it in f1 about the same as weight as a tv no way f1 really is the same weight as a tv oh god this is even longer TVs are like 50 pounds? Yeah, I feel like TVs are pretty, exp I mean, heavy. TVs aren't light. not apply yeah these gaskets are not easy to install it's so tall it's if I have extras I need to redo this one I think I might have extras it just sticks to the wall before it sticks to the bottom unless there's an easier way to do this and I'm stupid Oh my goodness. How stinky are your farts? What? Heine, thanks for the 33 months. Oh shoot, I didn't open the box yet. Crap, I got a box to open. I'll do it at the end. I'll do it at the end. <laughs> mm. 
What's in the box? Apparently, Heine sent me a box. I think I know what it is. And I think I might have purchased it. <laughs> I think I might have purchased the same one. You probs, dude. The box is huge. And I just bought something huge. Yep, cock. I mean, Heine. Heine. I'm not going to say anything. I will remain silent about Heine's body. It's my dick in a box. <laughs> Krenak, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Heine is in the box right now. Could you imagine if Heine shipped himself to me? And he's waiting for me to unbox him. I need some fresh air. Please open the box later. After, we'll do it at the end of this build. Do you need water? It's okay. I need to drink his own pee. I hear your pee pee is very nutritious. Those hyperglides are retools, they are retooled. That's death a myth, LMAO. Can you use Zeal Xylent Tactiles to make MX Silent Linear switches? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. These the long ones? No, these are the short ones that go down there. What is the brand of collagen you drink again? It's called Crushed Tonic. If you use coupon code TEATYPES at checkout, you get 30% off. I also found a pro gamer move for breaking in switches. Massage guns for a lube station. I've seen people using massage guns, but I think it's a little stupid. There's, you can pay people to break in switches. If you really like. Oh God, this is not gonna go on long. Aya. I also started applying retinol chat. Do you guys know about retinol? Are you guys applying retinol to your skin? You guys should. Delay test. What? I kinda keep my skin routine basic. Courtney, mine used to be basic too, but I'm getting old. <laughs> Mine's still relatively basic, but yeah, I just added retinol to my routine. Oh, I see. <laughs> um. Your skin adapts to retinol, so it's better to use at later edge. What? Teha, don't just be telling people to apply retinol. They'll do their research, right? I don't need to tell them about... Yes, you can't just go 0 to 100 on retinol. Definitely do your research on retinol. Yeah, but retinol is like very new-new. 
I'm still trying to get accustomed to retinol. Make sure to put on sunblock? Yeah, I got sunblock on. I apply sunblock every day now. I've been bathing in retinol for eternal youth. Oh my goodness. Simply have good skin. It's as easy as that. Ah, must be nice. Imagine being born with good skin. Couldn't be me. Wouldn't know what that's like. Retinol for ED? What's ED? Oh no. I have to be careful with what I put on my skin because I have keratosis pilarsis. Never heard. Oh, erectile dysfunction. <laughs> I don't know. That did not appear in my research. I'm not sure how retinol would help for erectile dysfunction, though. Based off what retinol does for my face, I don't think it's meant for my pee pee. Nathan is puking rainbow. What? Teha Pog FB. What the heck? I use retinol lotion on my PP daily and now it is twice the size. Nathan doesn't need help. Oh, dude, Sean, can I react to your latest video? Let's do that. After stream ends, we're gonna redact. Um, we're gonna react to Redacted's latest YouTube upload. Installed the gaskets. I think I want to change out the badge though to silver. So 
So let's do that. Let's also see the battery. I'm gonna guess probably rests here. What goes here? Okay. Man, this is gonna be a real pain. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's replace the top badge first tier if I can. Is this... How do you remove that? Oh. Oh! Oh, wait! There are magnets, chat. This is just held by a magnet. It's a magnet. All right, the magnet keyboard does have magnets. Okay, if this is anything like the renders... Ah, oh, I see. You can see the... Oh! You can see the light diffuser cutouts. It's got very small holes. And that's gonna let the light peek out. I guess, where does this go? Let's go here. Ah, it goes here. Okay, okay. Starting to make sense. Okay, you guys ready for magnets? Oh. That's a pretty strong magnet. Ooh. And you can just shove that in there. Okay. What is the proper protocol for installing this? Let's figure out this Bluetooth business. So we do need that badge. Oh, but then this is gonna be... Maybe we keep this as gold. Bluetooth PCB. Let's connect the battery. Okay. So I guess this battery. No, we could leave it like that. Is this, is this secured though? This just stays in here like that. I see. I see. Where's the other screws? Ah. I think we use these screws. It's wireless. It does have wireless. Uh, compact feature. You can use it wired or wireless. We shall see if the wireless functionality works. Too many stuff out, don't eat anything. Okay. That's 
also secure this Will it not short anything just sitting on the case like that? Uh, I hope not. I was not sent any washers or the likes. If it does short, oh wells. But I highly doubt it. They probably would have accommodated for that before shipping this out to me. If not, oh wells. <laughs> What is a good way to do this? say this is not the most it's definitely not the easiest board I've assembled it's not super hard there's just a lot of loose bits here and there you've got to account for People, gee, I have a board stuck in LA Customs. Sag. Oh no. This badge isn't aligned. Hold on, I've got a. Badge, please. I wish there was a way to secure Cause these outer pieces, the magnet's not strong enough. It's just kind of sitting there. Well, this one's not even held by magnets.
Whoa, is that the Chubies? Hello. Long time no see. Thanks for the two years. What are you doing? Uh, too serious. Gaming LLC. Thanks so much for the Prime sub. Hoping to visit Ryan and you guys soon. Ooh, yes. Let us know when you are in the area. make sure I this is working okay it works it works where did this come from this came from here nice Ooh, the battery still powers the RG. Hold on. Does this work with my... Oh, I don't have the receiver. So I plug in the receiver. Oh. Oh. What the? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Wait. Where's my Bluetooth? Let's see. Can I add this keyboard? I do have it set to on. My PC is not detecting anything. Yeah, my PC is not detecting. Oh, the battery isn't charged? Hmm. Wait, now it doesn't turn on at all. It doesn't work at all now. No! What happened to the RG? Do I just let it charge? Okay, I'll let it charge for a bit. Unplug the dongle? I did unplug the dongle. But now it is not receiving. Okay, let me set it to off. Turn it back on. Plug dong back in. <laughs> Off? On. Hmm. 
ribbon cable. I don't think it's the ribbon. Okay, I guess I'll open this back up. It could be that it's shorting too somehow. We'll see. Although I highly doubt it's shorting. They should have, I mean, that should have been taken into consideration, right? For a board like this. sure it's not the ribbon cable. Okay. Yeah, I mean if it's in there. Let's say I remove this for now. If Bluetooth is not involved. Mmm, that works. Okay, via the text it. Okay, so let's say I plug this back in. It's not going in anymore. Faith, hello, thank you so much for 10 months. Missed nine months? Sad, we missed our baby. This ribbon cable refuses to go in now. Unplug that. It's getting hot now. My KB caps lock is not working unless you press really, really hard. What do you think the problem is? Either your switch is dead, or it hasn't been seated properly, or the pin, the hot swap pin has become loose. Could be a multitude of things though. Okay. Ribbon cable is in there secure. keyboard still work it works okay so what was the issue hmm is it this piece no it still works Guess we assemble now. Okay. 
<laughs> it works. Yeah, it works. Oh, try with Bluetooth. All right, let's. It is off right now. Okay. So I'm gonna plug this in. Uh, let me share this. Okay, Bluetooth is on. If I go to my Bluetooth settings. No device. I have it set to on. <laughs> Not working. Pairing mode? Oh, how do I turn this into pairing mode? Is it is there anything on their interest check? Uh, anything about a pairing mode? Volcano like individual. I was not told about a pairing mode. Would anyone happen to have the uh, hotkey shortcut for the pairing mode? Yeah, nothing about a pairing mode. What would put this into pairing mode? Does your... Yes, my computer does have a Bluetooth adapter. Dongle equals no Bluetooth. Should I not use the dongle then? Okay, I unplug dongle. Let's retry this. Nope, nothing discovered. What if I unplug cable? What if I unplug cable? and try to connect. Hmm. Does your phone see it? Ooh, let me try my phone. Maybe my computer's Bluetooth is ass. Let me just try turning it on and off again. No, phone's not. Oh, it's blinking red now. What is that? Oh, it just died. It died again. Oh. Wait, it lights up, but it does not type. Okay, now it types. Um, I have not been sent an email or anything regarding... Let me see, there's... I don't think I missed anything in my email. Yeah, I, I wasn't told anything about putting it into pairing mode. It's okay. If we can't figure this out, at least it works. Um, wired? We know it works wired, so we'll just go ahead with that. Hopefully this, uh, this Bluetooth issue gets fixed. Noxington, thank you so much for the tip. 
Whoa, Grace! Welcome back for 15 months. Thank you, thank you. Hello. Subtle Toast. Welcome back for 10 months. Dian Audit. Thanks for the Prime sub. Grace, when are we going to hang out? Long time no see. Hello, Orange Flu. I believe the uh, the designer is watching, so we'll see if they send an email or the likes. Nutty Power, thank you so much for the 21 months. And Orange Flute, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Is the Brutal 60 worth 370 with all parts? Wait, did the Brutal 60 really retail for 370? Press FN plus Z to start blues? Oh? Wait, Space Fantasy Lee? That sounds like the designer. Some guys being flipped on? Alright, yeah, I thought so. I thought there was no way the Brutal 60 retailed for 370. You're being flipped on, whoever said that. So up to you. For $370, I don't think I would buy a Brutal 60. Unless you absolutely love it. Then I guess go ahead. Okay, let's retry this. Plug in dongle. Turn it to on. Let me share my... Let's cancel this. F, N, Z. Oh, that did something. Do I need to hold it? FN I'm holding it. I like oh it's flashing. It's flashing red. Well, let me see if my phone well there's no way my phone sees it, right? Oh my phone sees it! Oh? Ooh! Yeah, no, my PC's adapter is not so great. I know it has one. It's just not very good. Okay, let me pull up a app. So we can just type. Uh, airplane mode. Don't want any leaks. Okay, it works! Oh, you can't see that at all. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay. You can't see the text. Okay, damn it. I'm gonna backspace chat. I'm gonna backspace. Oh, it's working. Okay, looks like the Bluetooth works. My PC just has a very bad dongle. Hey, okay, I'm gonna put on keycaps. What keycaps are to use? Okay, we finally got it to work. FN plus Z, hold it until this flash is red. If it blinks red, I guess that means it's in a discoverability mode or parent mode. Is a jog dong? Yeah, this is just a Bluetooth dongle, I guess. So my PC is just ass. Yeah, this still this works fine without the dongle on the PC. Nice. Okay, chat. 
can finally put keycaps on this. What keycap set? It is a light blue. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Is chat thinking the same keycap set that I'm thinking? Blue board, so Mizu? Do we put Mizu on this? Do you have EPBT Oregon? It just ran. <laughs> There's no way I have EPBT Oregon. <laughs> F it, Mizu first or eighth? Arch? What? Retold Blacks? Yes. Oh. I feel like... Michelle feels like something. Har Har should have a subathon and have painting nails as one of the things. Ooh, I do want to paint my nails. Should I paint my nails, chat? A lot of my LA friends have been painting their nails. It's kind of made me want to paint mine too. Oh! Oh, that is way too close to the edge. It's just stuck. <laughs> Wait, it's just stuck. Okay, looks like I can't use the artisan here. Oh my goodness. Wait, is this even gonna work? Hmm. Wait, can I shift? Oh, I can't. Oh, wait. I should not be. Hmm, I can shift it. I hope that's not an issue. Well, it does require a bit of strength. So I think it's a non issue. But generally, you don't want this. That's a lot of room for it to shift around. But I mean, I don't think you're gonna really do it with typing. Hard to say, maybe normal typing might push it uh, with use. Uh, I can't really say though. No, why are you telling me to stand up? The light blue is really pretty though. Do you like this light blue? Yeah, it is a nice blue in person. Feel my hey. licks. Thank you so much for the two months. Teddy Allen with the 10 months, thank you. The Key Weeb with the 10 months, thank you as well. Thank you. So the Brutal 60 R4 case came with nothing but case. So it was 215 plus the PCB and plate. Brutal 60 for just a case for 215 sounds more like it. You will need to purchase keycaps on top of it, as well as switches. Would you please show the copper one on top round light? Yes. I like the silver one better, but I can do that. I hope. Wait, do I need to do I need to uh undo the screws for that? It should just come off, right? It's magnetic. Short light shift. Right. 
right bracket key looks off. Oh, why is that? Does that circle part serve a function or is it purely aesthetic? Um, I've been told this, this acts as an indicator light. Uh, for Bluetooth pairing, it does change. Uh, I know that because I saw it. I can show you guys that. I just put this on though. I can show you it in Bluetooth pairing mode. It does serve as an indicator light. It's not purely aesthetic. Wait, why did the... So right now it's just cycling. I don't know what that means, but if I do FN plus Z, it's red now. Now it's blinking, so yeah, that means that it is in pairing mode. So it, it, it has minor functionality. I don't know what else you'd really use it for, but yeah, it works. Did we get this thing working? Yes, the issue was my computer. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> uh, they, the designer said they want this changed. How do I easily remove this? Uh, if you're still here, space fantasy lead. Do I need to un... <laughs> Is there an easy way to remove this? Yeah, the magnet is really strong. <laughs> I guess I'll... I guess I'll undo this again. I'll open it again. Because they want me to use this. Yeah, the magnet's so good. It makes me reopen. <clears throat> Just came from my commute from SD to OC. Wow. Wait, you commute from SD to OC for your for 11 optical? Holy crap, Pyongun. That's a long commute. Do you go every day? Just pry it out with a knife? I don't want to scratch it though. Is the KBD65 Alley a good option or not? It is a good option. Uh, gas in Prius is cheaper than rent in San Diego. Yeah, but what about time? That's like two hours one way. If I feel like if it's peak traffic, it might even be more than two hours, no? One hour 15? Oh, I guess if you avoid traffic and speed. What's SD? What's OC? SD is San Diego. OC is Orange County. Okay. Let's remove the top piece. Oh, this is... <laughs> this, this magnet is no joke. Look, 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 chat. I push it down. Where the f it just comes back, back up. This is actually so strong. Okay, we're gonna use this instead. Yeah, there's no way I get that. This is so strong. Like, I'm putting force on this. That is strong. Okay, assemble this back.
definitely lives up to its name. The magnet. Maybe you're just weak? That's also true. I'm not that strong. Whoa, Ben! Thank you so much for the raid. Hello! Long time to see. Welcome, raiders. You guys came at a good time. That shit bus and bus. <laughs> we are about to finish building up the magnet keyboard. You guys came out at a good time. Uh, this diffuser does not go here. This has its own diffuser. This is separate. Welcome Raiders, hello. What did Miss Basic build today? Or was it an interest check stream? I know she started reviewing interest checks and group by posts. Just got in stream, how's the build quality? Uh, build quality is pretty decent. The Anno is pretty nice. Uh, no complaints with the machining. It's more so the design. There's a lot of parts like this badge, this USB port. This is magnetic, I think, but these two, they just kind of, they're just kind of friction fit. Um, pretty nice, yeah, just the design's a little annoying to build. You have to work around it, but it does work. Ooh, oh, why is that flashing like that? Okay, now it's an RGB. Okay. Oh my goodness, my desk's a mess. Okay, board works, chat. Let's get to the bottom of this. Do we have mods? Can we get the worst? Can we open up the casino and all now? While I get the screenshot. How did they get a screen? Oh, perfect. The logo is right there. All right. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, we got Maz and Mr. Sasaru Naisu. Okay, casino is live chat, as well as the bot. Place your bets. Uh, let's weigh this. It is a brand new keyboard. Let's see how much this weighs. If I know where I put my scale. Okay. So this does not have all the foam, but completely built. That's not going to work. Weighs 1,440, oh, pounds, 50 grams. Whoa. Oh, I was pressing on the desk. Whoops. 1,376 grams. Three pounds, one ounce. That's not too heavy, but it is also only a 65%. What mount is this? This is gasket mounted. All right. Uh, unfortunately, the AC is going on. I'm gonna wait for it to turn off to do the typing test. Maybe I should charge this. Oh, let me show you guys around. So this is what the board looks like, fully built. It's got magnet uh, engraved on there. Yeah, the anode quality, it's not bad. Uh, no points that I can mark off for now. It's got, it's got a interesting design. That's the side profile. This is the bottom. So you, this badge is interchangeable. Uh, we have a silver one here, for example. There are two more options that you can choose from if you join the group by for this. Space Fantasy, I believe, is also the website where you will be able to buy this from. The full link is... Where was it? Where did the link go? Spacefantasy.club 
That's the design studio, I think. Space Fantasy Dot Club. Forgot bump bonds? Yeah, I was not sent bump bonds, unfortunately. But that's okay. I've got like six desk mats stacked, so. <sighs> bump yeah, I don't I I wasn't sent bump bonds. Yes, it's here. Yeah, no bump bonds are sent. What is the group buy? This is expected to go into group buy pretty soon. Uh, I was told late May, early June. So it's already June. I'm gonna guess it's gonna happen pretty soon. Turn off the music. Bring up monkey type. Show RGB through back hole. Let me turn off my light. Yeah, so this is also where the Bluetooth signal escapes from. There's a hole back there and there's a hole up here. All right. This is what the magnet sounds like. It was built with Cherry MX Blacks, a uh, little bit of Quietox 205 Grade Zero, some TX Spring, and switch filmed. F, uh, polycarbonate plate, not the aluminum. It doesn't have any foam installed. It's gasket mounted. This is what the mouse sounds like right at the keyboard. What was the ratio? Wow, 52% believe. This is what this board sounds like. Tyson, welcome back for 19 months. Show me your back hole, okay. Mr. Fotato, thank you so much for the tip. Alley or PC plate for GMMK Pro? Uh, I say go with aluminum. <sighs> what? What do you do? No! I can't type today. Holy, I made so many errors. 136, Sag. I blame the watch. It's too heavy. Looks like the doubters won this time. Choke so hard, yeah. Hey, still daily 31st. I'm on the daily board somehow. All right, these are what the mods sound like. Oh, I need to loop more. I didn't test stabs today. Forgot I didn't test stabs, yeah. I'm actually kind of glad I did not install the foam. This sounds quite muted, despite having no foam. Definitely, definitely sounds like a, you do get that gasket clack though. But it actually sounds a little, a little dead to me considering these are Cherry Omega Blacks. 
So very glad I didn't put in the foam. Uh, definitely doesn't sound hollow to me, in my opinion. Yeah, like especially on the corners here, I think because it's got the... I want to say it's because of the side mounting. It sounds a little dull here. Normally bottom rows sound a bit lively, but this is a little dullish. Doesn't really sound hollow. Yeah, this this doesn't sound hollow at all. I don't think you really need the foam. This sounds pretty nice as is without the foam. If you put in foam, it's gonna be more quiet, more dead. Typing feel wise, you do get a little bit uh, of flex. I can actually press down and it does go in a little, but this is obviously way more than normal typing strength, but it does have a little bit of give. It's a nice typing weight. Battery makes a good weight. Sure. Yeah, battery does fill up space, but you could have also just not made that cavity in the first place. Ooh, it flexes quite a bit actually. Oh, if that shows. Oh God, it's trembling. Can you guys see it? Yeah, you can see the keycaps moving. It has a decent amount of flex for anyone who likes a softer typing experience. Should we do oh, one more? One more casino. Because <clears throat> I got to redeem myself. All right, one more casino. Is this hot swap or solder? This is hot swap. Does the badge do the RGB like it has in the IC renders? Yes, you can see it's got RGB up here as well as back there. How much will it be? I was not told of the price point. Uh, I know about as much as you guys do for the, um, in terms of the keyboard product information. But it is expected to run pretty soon. Uh, they were projecting late May, early June. So I'm guessing it's gonna go live relatively soon. Be on the lookout for the Geek Hack post uh, once the group buy is live, as well as you can also head over to spacefantasy club um, if you type in the exclamation build command it also links you to their discord as well as the interest check thread all right predictions are over 55 percent believe is it limited like i said i have no idea you can check out the interest check thread though watch is off here we go we do This says, never mind. <laughs> Wait, I grieved this one. <laughs> Let's redo that one. I, I griefed. I griefed. I griefed. Let's redo that one. I griefed. I just read someone give head come and I was like, okay, I can't. 
I did not just get monkey typed. Monkey type actually threw me with the give head come. All right, that didn't count. That's why I was laughing. Okay, redo, redo, redo. That one didn't count. <laughs> redo, redo. <laughs> okay. I'm tired. <laughs> I've I've used up my stamina. Doubters win today. Feels bad. My words per minute and accuracy are atrocious today. <sighs> I'm gonna lose it. It's okay. Um my thoughts on the board. I don't like how it looks. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, the aesthetic isn't my taste. Um, I'm not a fan of this 2U blocker. I'm not a big round curve guy. I like angles, I like rectangle. I like my keyboard with rectangles and edges. This is very circular. But if you like the aesthetics, this board is actually nice. I do like how it sounds um, and how it feels. It's a very nice, it feels like a very nice middle ground comfort level. It's not super stiff, it's not super bouncy, but it's a good, it's a good uh, typing experience. The build assembly of it, it's a little finicky, but I mean, you can get it to work. We did confirm the Bluetooth works as well. Just my computer's ass but yeah the biggest thing for me is just the aesthetics i guess if people like the aesthetics they'll go for it that being said we also don't know how much this is going to cost um yeah a lot of the information on the interest check still out for debate but they do provide some pretty nice options in terms of customizing the colors and whatnot and it, I don't know if my unit specifically comes with the battery just because it was a stream unit or if other people are also going to get the battery sent. You might have to purchase the batteries on your own um, unless they just YOLO and decide to ship everyone's out with a battery. But yeah, assuming the price point is right, uh, this board, pleasant surprise. I do like how it sounds and how it feels. I just don't like how it looks. Hot tub stream, no hot tub stream. <laughs> I do like that anode color. Yeah, the color is nice. Um, I'm the color is nice, and I, I did say this earlier on the stream, but no real points I can dock off in terms of anode quality or machining quality. I mean, it's pretty solid. That being said, the price point will change how harshly that's taken into consideration. Like if they're gonna sell this for, you know five six hundred dollars then maybe I can be a little bit more harsh but assuming this is in the I hope 300 ish price point at most uh, it's not a bad not a bad buy <clears throat> are you allowed to put the other badge on with the diffuser yeah we did do it earlier and it works fine 
I think the designer just likes this badge better, so that's why we swapped it back out. I mean, it, it does look cooler, but I like how the light diffuses with the micro cutouts on this. That's why I initially changed it. Shipping lithium batteries requires a hazmat training and special coating. Ooh, I see. Open the box? All right, that's it for this stream. Uh, once again, check out spacefantasy.club. That's their website. As well as the Discord is in the build command. Make sure you guys join their Discord to stay up to date for the latest news. Looks good, May. Hope you're well. Hello, Ozzy. Hope you are well. All right, I've got a box to unbox. Mr. Heine sent me something. I'm going to go grab it. so much on me if this is what I think it is you spent way too much money I don't know why you would buy this for me oh my you're too kind this is a write-off literally worth it oh, you're you're a mad man honey all right this box we're about to open uh, was a gift, I guess you can call it a gift, from Heine. This is punishment? What do you mean? I'm literally waiting on your plate. You need to ship me out your plate. Bye bye, have a good one, Michelle. All right. Oh yeah, Keck W, this guy, he already forgot he needs to send me a plate. turn this into a YouTube video but looks like we're gonna get a sneak peek on stream you guys ready oh my goodness That's exactly what I thought it was. Oh my goodness, he actually bought me this. The Heine Bush LLC tax write off. All right, we have on desk. As far as I know, this is the biggest readily available keyboard you can purchase. Uh, it is not the biggest keyboard to exist in the world. But in terms of readily available for purchase, I believe this is it. Um, you guys might have seen videos of this on the reddits already. Some keyboard folks have tried it out, I believe. My goodness this is actually real holy crap red dragon made a keyboard meant for like NBA players or something this is like what Shaq needs to type on okay size comparison chat you maybe you guys don't get the scale this is the 65% we built today this is scale reference. This is as long as two 65% and probably as tall as a TKL plus some. <laughs> oh, maybe this will give you size comparison. It's as tall as my torso. Oh my goodness. 
You don't need a cat puller. You just use your. <laughs> I want to see the stabs. That's gotta be the biggest stab in the world. This is a regular, <laughs> a normal 625 stab. So that makes this a 13U stab. It's literally half the size, half the length, sorry. This is a 13U size. Actually, oh, it's a little bigger. The 625 stab perfectly fits the top edge of the right shift. Lube it. Okay, I'm, I was going to turn this into a YouTube video. So I'm probably going to save it for that. Oh, damn it. I ruined it? No, I, I was gonna mod it for YouTube. But I'll do a typing test. Dude, look at this. This is a freaking... They just, this is a stick. This is a weapon. Oh, dude. It's dense. I have marks. Is it hot swap? Can I pry this? Oh? No, I can't pry it. I don't think I can. Is it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh no, no, I'm stupid. There's an LED soldered. Got the LED solder in there. It's not hot swap. Unless this is also hot swap. But I doubt it. Yeah, I'm gonna open it for the YouTube video. You guys ready to hear the ping? Okay. This giant keyboard and it has a small USB port. It is USB C. You got small hands. Zach, thank you so much for the 33 months. Negu said, thank you for the two months. Anthony WTF, thank you for the tier one. Eerie, thank you so much for the host. Sorry I missed it. Okay. Let's open up prediction. Pre. <laughs> All right, predictions are live. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is not your regular Schmegular keyboard. Oh, did I close monkey type? Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have done 140. Wait, 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 wait. Cancel, cancel, cancel. What's a good medium? Should we do 60? Wait, 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 wait. How do I end prediction? No, this is still at 140. Wait, 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 we gotta... Let's delete. Delete and return points. Okay, we'll make it 60. Uh, we'll do WPM, but we'll make it 60. 
60 or more, 60 or less. Okay, there we go. There we go. This is my hand size for reference. This is an iPhone 12 for reference. This is not a small keyboard. Dude, can you imagine how much you have to use this for it to shine? ratio 56% believe 60 and less okay here are the mouse clicks for reference here we go what's the what's the meta for this should I I should just tap huh We do we do hold on hold on We do we do we do Oh I can't there is no way I'm hitting 60 on this We do we do we do we do All my muscle memory is useless with you. No, this is the meta is I just memorize part good however turn to use three two one part good however turn use Broke sixty. <laughs> I I broke sixty. Woo! All right, who doubted? Imagine not thinking I can type sixty on this. Oh, that there are errors throughout. Pay up? Oh, did I not pay up? Should we do one more? Let's do one more. One more at 60 again. Dude, this sounds like a machine gun. This space bar is something. <laughs> okay, one more. What the hell is this? This is just a normal keyboard, Sean. If the switches are soldered, how are you gonna suck the solder out? Uh, it's probably gonna require a lot of uh, solder wick. You definitely can't, I don't think there's a pump that's big enough to suck all of this. I'm gonna probably go through like half a roll of wick on this. Wow, more believers this time, 62% believing. I see.
please type slow? What is pink? Does pink mean doubt? The, the Tony Cajun doubt the 60? Wow, he doubted. All right. Tony Cajun's a doubter. Here we go. Change such plays there rightly. After stand because first. Cajun actually won. Okay, read it, read it, read it. One more, hold on. Hold on. I can't let Tony win like this. One more. One more casino. I'm all warmed up now. I, I understand the meta. Okay. Which type uh, test site? Type test site is this? This is monkeytype.com. Tony better streamer, he should win. Okay, buddy. Okay. Okay, last, last casino of the day. I don't know if I should be like fully hunting and pecking because I'm trying to still use like my fingers, but my muscle memory, I'm like trying to adjust my muscle memory and also guess what the new distance would be. Like I always miss backspace. Do you hear the wobble on this? Ah, look at the stabilizer rattle. Okay. I also think this keyboard chatters. 51% believe. Interesting. All right. Here we go. Don't make too many errors. But believers won. Complete prediction. All right. Thank you, Mr. Heine. <laughs> Absolute mad lad. This isn't cheap either. He spent a lot on this. Maybe I should make this a, a channel redemption. Bring out the the Heine the Heine keyboard. This is officially dubbed the Heine keyboard. Maybe I'll make this a uh, channel redemption. 
500,000 points if you want me to do a typing test on this. Gotta put a Heine stick on it, true. Do you hear the rattle? <laughs> How do you even find keycaps for that? You don't. Because this is not the same size as the, the Novel Keys big series. This is like an in-between size. Uh, yeah, the big, this big series is much bigger than this. goodness I kind of want it I mean it's it's a meme it's a good meme to have I guess but it's definitely definitely pretty out there <laughs> oh let me bring the music back should I make a reprogrammable 60% PCB for this Heine if you can do it ASAP I will put it in the YouTube video can you make me a QMK programmable version of this? No cap. I will rebuild the board. Send me the one you bought so I can make one. But I'll, I'll just send you this then. Because I gotta I also gotta film the unboxing for the YouTube video. <laughs> I've already unboxed this. <laughs> Deal? <laughs> okay. Oh shipping, this is gonna be so expensive. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm coming flight booked. No way. Really? Are you actually going to come, Sean? Nice. Okay. Um, how long have I been live for? Three, three and a half hours. Wow. Okay, before I go, there's a, there's a video we need to react to. Where is it? Are we rating? We're gonna watch a video first. Yeah, we're gonna react Andy for one video. This keyboard effing garbage, Teha yelled, voice cracking silently in exasperation. What's wrong? Teha Kun, Lolstax called out from the kitchen. The spacebar ticks. And what the hell did you call me, bowl cut, Teha responding, still fuming? Well, you told me if I called you my little Teha wummy one more time, you were going to kick my ass, lols pouted, his head peeking around the kitchen door frame. Look, if you take a little break, I know where you can still be top. What is this coffee pasta? <laughs> is Sandy okay with this? Does Sandy give you the okay? <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. If you guys don't know who Redacted S is, he's a uh, IRL friend slash mod of mine. He just put out a new video. Five things I wish I knew before medical school. Let's take a watch. Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you guys about five things that I wish I knew before I started medical school. So growing up in high school and college, I didn't really have like an older brother or sister figure to talk to about how life in medical school is, how life in residency is, and I kind of wished back then that I had someone like that. So today I want to be that kind of person for the people. Ooh, yes, go follow. Oh, you can't see because of stream elements. Go follow his IG, Hyun Lee 41 He's my fashion inspo, and he's smart, he's good looking. If you're into hot looking males, go check out Redacted S. Line of medical school and talk to you guys about five things that I wish I knew about medical school before I actually went there. So the first thing I wish I knew before I started was that you still have to do things that you're not interested in and pretend to seem interested. So as kind of a background to myself, I went to college in University of Notre Dame, which is a Catholic school. So as a non-religious person, um, it was kind of a weird for me to take theology classes and philosophy classes for me to graduate. So I took one year of theology and one year of philosophy 
for me to get, you know, my philosophy and theology creds for graduation. Personally, I did not like my theology classes where I had to memorize scriptures and stuff like that for extra credit for yeah, just points in general. Back then, I was like, if I go yeah, to medical school, I will finally months. get to do things I'm interested in. You know, biology, science, physio, you know, all that good stuff that STEM kids like. It was kind of a rude awakening when I got into medical school and I found that I still didn't like some parts of medicine. So personally, I hate being in the OR. I think OR is terrible. I hate standing for hours. I've had some bad experiences with attendings were really mean and, you know, I just shit on you in the OR. So the OR was not my happy place. I still had to look interested because my grade depends on the attending's eval. So I had to suck it up and smile and be like, oh yeah, this cholecystectomy is very interesting. Yeah, this is my fifth cholie. I just, I just love it. It was kind of a toss up as to which one I enjoyed less, memorizing scriptures or standing in the OR getting berated. I understand the importance of getting a wide view of all the specialties in medicine, but you're not gonna like everything you see. I think that is something that I was a little bit naive about. Just because I'm in medical school doesn't mean I'm going to enjoy everything about medicine. And medical school is very similar to, you know, college where you start out really broad and you learn the foundations of, you know, cell bio, like physiology, pharmacology, and then you start to narrow down and go through different rotations to find out what you really like. So as I went through all the rotations and learned about different things, I found specialties that I liked and disliked. So internal medicine, I absolutely hated internal medicine. I felt like even though I'm so busy, I didn't feel like I'm doing anything. And I didn't really like rounding for three to four hours. And there are specialties I did like. So psychiatry was really interesting. I haven't thought about doing psychiatry for a while. So even if medicine is your burning passion, there are still things that you, you're not gonna like about it, but you're gonna find something that you'll like in the end. So number two, getting into the medical school of your dreams won't make you happy. Ooh, that's a uh, <clears throat> slap to the face. Med school acceptance not equals happiness. Ooh. This CS logic though, <laughs> redacted as huge man saying. Oof, so this is a tough one. Ooh, he added the oof. As a medical student or pre-med, you're most likely a very high achieving, very motivated, type A goal oriented person. Speaking from personal experience, I fell into this trap of where I hung everything on the next goal that I set out for myself. So these goals are getting into a good college, getting that A in that midterm, becoming a board member to pad your resume, and getting into medical school, getting into the residency you want, getting into fellowship, it never really ends. And I realized that there will always be milestones that I set for myself. And once I meet it, the goalpost will just move to the next one and it'll probably just keep going. So I achieved a lot of things that I set out to do. So I got into the college I wanted, I got the MEMCAT score I wanted, I got into the medical school I wanted, but even when I met all those goals, I still felt, you know, at the end, a little bit empty. Elation I felt from achieving that goal, much more temporary than I expected. When I got my MCAT score, my goal, I literally got the goal score that I set out for myself in my Excel sheet. I got it and I was, you know, extremely happy, just elated. But a couple of days after and a week after, eh, it, it just kind of faded. I was Basically what I get from this is he hits all his goals. He just take good at life. Imagine being able to hit your goals. I don't know what that's like. Life is just too easy for our mod redacted S. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Still the same old me. Nothing had really changed about my situation. So I find that we hang so much of our happiness and self-esteem into the one goal that we set out for ourselves. And once we reach it, we just don't know what to do with that because we've devoted so much into reaching that goal. So reaching the goals you set out for yourself won't automatically make you happy or feel that. Ooh, true. I am only who I am. Getting your keyboard that you want does not equal happiness. Very applicable. This is why end game is a myth. You hit your end game and then you just get another one. Oh my goodness. What is this guy doing? Crushing void you have inside you. And honestly, you just got to find something that fills that void and makes it all worthwhile. And I think that's one of my biggest struggles in the past couple of years. Number three, the topics and the concepts you learn in medical school 
aren't as hard as the ones you learned in college. This is kind of a personal opinion because everyone's strengths and weaknesses in subject matter are very different. For me, the hardest concept and things I had to learn was probably physics one. I will never understand how normal force works in a falling elevator. I literally got that question wrong every time during physics one. Compared to that, a lot of the things I learned in medical school was not as difficult. I found it a little bit more intuitive. I personally just had an easier time just understanding the concepts. So understanding the concepts and doing well in medical school are, I think, two different things. One I guess God is fair. He hits all his goals except for normal force in an elevator physics problem. <laughs> <laughs> While the concepts might not be hard in medical school, due to the sheer volume of a lot of the subjects and the topics in medical school, it's I feel like it's more of a test of your diligence than anything. There's a really good analogy that I heard kind of sums up medical school really well. Every day you have two pancakes to eat, and if you don't eat those two pancakes, it rolls over to the next day. But if you eat them every day, you just eat your two pancakes and you're done. But if you don't eat them every day, kind of push them off to the last minute, you're going to end up with 30 pancakes to eat before you know it. I think that's a really good analogy. Okay, he said it's a good analogy, but it's false. If he gets two pancakes every day from med school, why is this man so skinny? How does he stay so fit eating two pancakes every day? Potentially 30 because he procrastinated. That is the biggest mystery to me. Analogy because I personally believe that medical school, it helps to kind of stay on top of everything and keep up with the class lectures. Because if you just blink and miss a couple days, you have a ton of things you have to catch up on. Number four is to enjoy college. Now this is kind of a double-edged sword, I think. So I say to enjoy college because personally, whenever I reminisce about college, like a boomer, I'm thinking about the times we sat outside on the patio and drank beer during the day and just watched sports and did nothing versus the time I got 100 on my physics midterm. I don't think about my successes. I think about the quality time I spent with my friends and the fun I had with my friends. That's where my enjoy college comes from. But the other edge of the sword is if you have too much fun, you're not even going to get into medical school. So I think I feel this way because I kind of back myself up into a corner after my first semester. I really tanked my GPA my first semester of college, and I literally had to claw all the way back to a decent GPA at the end of the year. So I needed every inch I can get to make myself competitive. And I personally feel like I missed out a lot. I could have made a lot more memories and had more fun in college. So I guess this is a kind of a FOMO, but in the past. So in the end, I think I could have relaxed a little bit more in college, you know, stop to look at the sky a little bit more, go out more often. And that is what I would say to someone who is currently in college and kind of stressing about going to medical school, you know, work hard, but work hard to make good memories, memories that you would look fondly back upon. And my last tip is to find a I agree with that. I did not have fun in college. And looking back, I do wish I take I do wish I took college easier <clears throat> and like do more, just live more. Because I don't know, I feel like as an Asian American, like you're pressured to like college is like every Asian American's like end goal for a while as a kid. But then once you graduate you you realize this is meaningless, man. <laughs> My college education, useless. The support system. I had too much fun. Uh, Doctor Who was a, he played around. I see. I got kicked out twice. Damn. So you got to realize. But that, all, that advice also, I feel like it's hard to, hard to realize it until you've graduated. Because in the heat of the moment, you just care about getting A's and then getting the next job. Is that this is a long ass road. This is a marathon and not a sprint. So let's just count the years of how much extra schooling you have. After high school, you have four years of undergrad, four years of medical school. You have minimum three years of residency training and also have fellowship years, one or two years. So that is more than a decade of training, just being in like at this school or trainee status. And I think it's really easy to burn out at one point or another. So I burned out really hard taking step one combined with COVID. And that was just 
awful all around and third year also really burned me out and made me have a bad time in general even though we're increasing focus on mental health and mental well-being i personally think there's uh, more room for improvement in medicine and every year there's some kind of resident suicide or medical student suicide that just breaks my heart because i personally know how much hard work and sacrifice they made to get to that point so it's not a sign of weakness or incompetence to admit that you need help whether it's through you know a therapist or talking to a friend blocking off three hours to play video games figure out your support system or your coping methods prior to starting medical school because you're going to be tested so i think it's important to find ways to kind of focus on yourself and cultivate your well-being whether it's working out, listening to music, hiking, cooking, whatever gets you in that zone of feeling good and kind of makes you forget about all the things that stress you out. So these are the five things I wish I knew before I started medical school. And I hope you guys find this helpful in just kind of getting the insider information on what medical school is like. And if you have more of a personal or focused question, make sure you make a comment down below and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. That is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, that's my friend. That's Redacted S. If you guys are interested in the med school journey, check him out on YouTube. He also DJs if you're into EDM stuff. But yeah, clap, clap, clap. Ooh, let's leave a comment. You guys watched on the stream. Oh, I mean, I already left one. <laughs> I was trolling. Let's leave. He'll know it's us if we time Bedj and Woke. <laughs> I went to school for a mechanical key. Okay, Mr. Chatty Rick. Oh, shoot. That's probably way too low. All right. That's it for this Friday's. Oh, Link? Yeah, I got you with the Link. Huh? Uh, regular streams next week. Who to raid? Who to raid? Um, oh, there's a couple keyboard people on. Do you guys want more keyboards or non-keyboards? Oh wait, uh, do I owe push-ups? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I owe push-ups? Okay, let me do push-ups. Sorry. Let me see who I owe push-ups. Whoops. I'll do your 10 push ups. Okay. Uh, do you guys want keyboards or non-keyboard? There are several keyboard streamers online. Chubis, who is Kung Bean? Oh, they also do streamers. I mean, <laughs> they also do keyboards, sorry. <sighs> we can give this person a raid. Ryan about to do sound test? Uh, I rated Ryan in the past though. Let's rate someone new. Kung Bean. All right, don't ruin the raid. Please stop raiding, streaming, and come join us. I'm about to finish, Robin. I'm about to finish. All right, we're gonna give this Kung Bean, kind of a dangerous name, a, a raid. 
You guys know the drill. It's our first time raiding this person. Hit him with the OG copy pasta. Wait, Robin, did you not hear me? <laughs> um, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me this week. See you guys next week. I think that's it for news. Nothing else. All right. I, I will, Robin. I will relax. Yeah, thank you guys for hanging out on this Friday night. We'll see if I continue Friday nights. I might switch it to Monday. But uh, I have a new vlog out on Taya Snipes. Please go check it out. All my VODs are uploaded to Taya Tapes on YouTube. And then, uh, yeah. All right. Have a great weekend. See you guys next week. See you, nerds. Have fun in Kung Bean stream.